At long last, Jar, you and I get an opportunity to cast together. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. We're ready for the grand final here between Columbia Navy and Rochester University. Jar, you got to hear what Philly and I had to say. You are the man from the Midwest. How do you feel about this matchup? I'll be honest with you. You guys both had it go into seven. You had Rochester. Philly had Columbia. I'm going to go with Philly, but in a different amount of games. I'm going 4 0. No, Columbia no, makes a statement showing that the Midwest is on top. That's what I've got here today. We just saw them playing so strong against Kansas Blue, a rival there from the Midwest. And we'll see what they can do here up against Rochester, one of the top teams coming from the Great Lakes. And I'm taking a look at the chat right now to see what the prediction is by channel points. It is 100% to zero for Columbia Navy. So we're going to sit back, relax. Columbia, clearly the top favorite. Game one of the grand finals is underway with Skies kicking it, kicking it into the Columbus and Encryptic to the air. Luca will kick this one off to the side. Cam towards the net. It's off the far post and Knight kicks it further. Sticking with it in midfield. Now Cam pushes it back off the 50. And we finally get a second to calm down as Cryptic goes towards the backboard. Guys meets him up there, catches one touch, stakes to the air. Flip reset in hand, uses it to get over Excelsior. Looks, and looks for another as Camgo takes it back the other way. And now Knight an opportunity to come back once more. As Luca going to lob a shot towards the net, it's going to be a cam free ball. That's something that we will not want to see if you're rooting for Rochester. Cam, we just saw him pop off in that series against Kansas Blue, and you can't let him do it again, as it's going to be Knight grabbing a 50. Bounces a middle, excels with a shot. It's to the backboard, but nothing to come of it. So here in the opening moments, it's still dead even between these two rosters. As Skies up to challenge early will not allow this Columbia roster to perform to what we've seen them do before, at least not to start things out. A demo comes through. Cam forced to clear it away. Skies into the corner. It's cryptic. No touch. No touch, actually, and it's a fake. Cam going to strike first for Columbia, slotting it top right. Who to get up except for the early favorite for MVP? Cam himself to the top corner. Makes it one nothing in favor of Columbia with 3.40 to go. And I will say the only team that both of these two teams played against was Kansas Blue, and they both managed to take the win against them. However, Rochester not able to do it as convincingly as we just saw Columbia Navy do so. It went to game five in a best of five. Well, of course, we just saw Columbia Navy take them out four to one. So Columbia Navy definitely going to be the team that has a slightly better history in their matchups, but we will see Rochester equalize here early in game one. And it's important to remember that while uh, Columbia Navy is the, we'll say pride and the, the pride of CRL West, Rochester is one of those teams that's always in the mix in the East consistently over the last year or so. so. Not just a matchup between Great Lakes and Midwest, but a different uh, a matchup between CRL divisions, if you will, Char. Yeah, and this is really cool to see this uh, before the season starts, right? We haven't seen the CRL qualifiers happen yet, so getting a little bit of a preview for what is in store for the all of CRL later on this year is going to be very, very fun as Cam and Excels to both committing for this ball. This is a mistake that we saw both of the Columbia rosters making actually um, earlier on today, but they have been able to to get past it as Cam turning around in net. That is a mistake that you will not see all too often as Luca getting the solo play right past everybody on Columbia to give Rochester the lead here in game one. The one mistake we saw multiple teams make over the course of last season was giving Luca space. Cam learns the hard way here as Knight off the kickoff. He's gonna go to the backboard. The rebound for Sky's top corner! And Rochester's lead has doubled in the matter of seconds. And the kickoff's not working out in favor of Columbia this time. Excelst wanted the bump 
onto the first man, but he didn't find it. That was something that he was doing really well in their series against Kansas. Excelst doing a great job of finding the bump immediately off the kickoff. You see him do that again against Knight as this one going to bounce it back the other way. Knight, after recovering from the bump, wanted a redirect. Instead, it's going to be a launch down on the ground as Cam takes control on the sidewall. He's looking to move it forward. He will do just oh. that, and it might be a shot and a goal for Cam. We've seen this already once today, Jar, where Cam just finds ways to get himself alone on the goal mouth. He did it against Kansas. He does it here against Rochester. And, and Rochester's gonna have to find a way to keep him away, as far away from that net as possible. Does it matter? He's, it feels like he's dangerous everywhere. Yeah, and I think the thing that Kansas Blue was trying to do was literally just taking him off of the field with a demo. That seemed to be the only thing that they could do to stop Cam as he's already got two goals here in this one. It's going to be back for him again. He wants the hat trick and he just barely misses the double touch. That could have been the equalizer right there. Cryptic looking to stay with it, but Skies will send it back out towards midfield. Knight underneath had the ball stripped from Excels. Excels from Cryptic, back to him! And Skies able to fight it off. Excels, quick turn off the catch, and Knight quickly sends it out of harm's way. Cryptic towards midfield, only as far as Knight on a high sidewall. Luca looking for a touch, not able to get it, and now Columbia looks to come back the other way, with Cam going to Cryptic. Skies cuts it down. Excels cut down by a falling Skies. Zero boost off the sidewall, looking for Knight to the backboard. Cam staying as close as possible, Knight! Off the post and back out off of Cam! It's gonna be up to Skies again, as Cryptic, the one to grab a hold of it, to the backboard. Hold on, Luca sends it all the way past the Columbia defense. Will he be able to turn it into a goal? The answer is oh, not okay. quite yet, and it will! Skies going to finish it off and Rochester is looking like the stronger team in game one. Well, that 4-0, I know there's 50 seconds left, but that 4-0 you mentioned is not looking too promising so far. Rochester's got off to a hot start. I know they just had a close series there against Siena Heights, maybe a little warmer than Columbia would have been against Kansas. Luca here off the kickoff, ball's kind of just right on top of him. Excel's able to muscle it through. He got bumped back to the ball in the lead slash and half, just like that. This is something that Columbia just manages to do sometimes, finding goals out of those awkward situations at the midfield. Skies went to grab boost in the corner and he will not recover for it. So we said that Columbia might be out here in game one, but still a heavy possibility of them bringing it back as we know how strong their offense can be. Is going to take it from his own back backfield. Cam towards the backboard off the ceiling. Luca is there looking for skies. Excels runs interference. Luca just sends it further downfield. Excels watches, swings and misses. Uncommon mistake as skies to the backboard deflected out by Cryptic and Knight wins that battle against Excels. Up over the top of Cam. It's open. Is anyone there? It doesn't matter. Knight has two and it's 5 3 Rochester. With 13 seconds left, it looks like it may be game one in favor of Rochester, but time will tell. Columbia going to need to wake up on these kickoffs. Here's their opportunity. Excelst gets demoed immediately, and Knight playing better than Excelst at its own game, finding those demos on the kickoff should solidify game one going in favor of Rochester, regardless of where this ball lands. It is a 1-0 start to the grand finals. Rochester now 25% of the way there to that $200 prize and the, sit and the 21 points waiting at the end of this road. A 5-3 win, shots pretty even all things considered. I think that's actually a dead even 10-10 jar but Rochester yep. able to convert on half those opportunities. Yeah, Rochester doing a great job of putting it together. Cam actually had seven of the 10 shots from Columbia Navy. That's just showing you how aggressive he is as a player himself. But overall, Rochester just doing a great job of controlling the play. They had five goals, three of them were assisted. Keep in mind, Columbia didn't have a single assist. It was all solo plays that they were able to put through into the back of the net. So Rochester just showing that they have a stronger team play, the stronger chemistry, and that has been what has been the difference maker so far. I was actually gonna mention that, Jar. Uh, Rochester's kind of been known over the last year or so 
they may not be the most individually talented players mechanics wise but as a unit they are an absolute machine they're well oiled they're dangerous the question is is that dynamic for rochester going to be enough to outdo the star power of the likes of cam and cryptic for example even excels to at times we've seen during this tournament has absolutely taken over Right, and Excels hit an absolute banger yesterday that we saw on the mainstream in round three of Swiss. So they all definitely have what it takes. But like you said, Rochester, they've got that connection, the chemistry, and that was what gave them the win in the first game. But we'll see if they're able to keep it up as Cam looking to solo play, and that is the type of situation that you'll see Columbia take the advantage in. A one-on-one -on -one individual, mano a mano, and Cam is going to take it. Just mentioned it, 24 seconds in, the solo play shows its head. Cam a little more experience in that field than that of Knight, and it showed right there. Kickoff goes back to Cryptic. He'll try and move it towards Cam, but Skies will wait for it. One touch and into the air he goes. Underneath excels. Luca's right there to the backboard, looking for the second. Drops it down, looking for Knight. Kept away there by, I believe that was excels. Now Skies off the sidewall. One touch, looking for a second, not able to find it. And Columbia looks to recoil back the other way as excels. Only as far as Knight, and now Cryptic from the sidewall. Still interfered by Knight, actually. Cryptic's gonna keep going! And it's 2-0 Columbia, just like that, as it looked like Knight was keeping the ball away. Instead, it's in more danger than it was previously. The mechanical skill showing its way into this series. Cryptic with a pre-flip demo shot with only 22 boost on the sidewall, and he still was able to make that one look as pretty as ever. A minute into this one, 2-0 for Columbia Navy, and this is starting to look like it might be a different story than what we saw in game one. Luca, however, trying to turn the tides for Rochester. The flip won't get too far as Sky going to collect it puts it into the corner he wants a pass middle it's there past all three but excels gets back we'll find the touch cam flip reset opportunity he doesn't have it so now it's a one-on-one -on -one for luca instead the demo comes through and columbia look at the aggression coming through a couple of demos and here's cam off of the ceiling, he wants a touch. It's there, but saved by Luca. I think Skies likely would have gotten back to that one as well. First thing I'm noticing, Jared, a stark difference between game one and game two. The double commits from Columbia are no longer there, and they're able to impose their will more because of it. They don't have two guys diving for the same ball. The net hasn't been open one time so far for Rochester, which it felt like it was several there in game one. And we'll see. If Rochester can force their way through into the blue oh, net, it, that it will happen. Knight going to put it in, and the caster's curse comes through. It feels as though every time you start to say a team is running out of chances, one presents itself. Knight this time, the one to put it through, bringing Rochester back to within one. 2.56 to go here in game two. Columbia down one game to none for those who are just joining us. Knight will look to take control of this off the kickoff, and he will. Gets it downfield for Excels, who takes back for Columbia. Into the air, no boost in the tank, leaving it up. Up over Skies, Cryptic will catch on the ground. Looks to come back the other way. Knight closing off the infield. Skies with a 50 on Excels. Cryptic cuts and turns over the top of Knight to the backboard. Luca's there. Cryptic doesn't hit it either. The shot from Excels looking top corner, not finding the mark. And Knight, no boost in the tank, can't do much with it. Sky's not able to either. Knight looking back for Luca. He'll go to the left side, but no one home as Columbia looks to come back the other way. It is Cam. Couple touches up in the air, gets it up over Skies. Knight now for Rochester back the other way. We're going back and forth here, Jar, but nobody really able to get a good opportunity so far. And Rochester really looking to push for one more goal to equalize, but they may have pushed a little too far forward here as Cam looking to score the double. It won't happen in Excels. That is a huge miss from Excels. And after what we've seen the past couple of days, you don't expect to see that one. But Cryptic will make up for it. The solo play, it's twice in this game that he's done it. Off of the ceiling this time, slotting it top shelf, increasing that lead for Columbia. Well, whereas in game one, it felt like it was Rochester's game, just taking advantage of teams' mistakes, not making as many on their own. 
game two feels like it favors Columbia significantly more. This feels like that Columbia roster we've seen go top four. We've seen when uh, CRL, I believe just recently over Northwood, no, not that long ago in the conference, um, Luca back the other way, Cryptic is there. My, my point still stands is it feels like Columbia is able to impose their will better, Jar. That's what I'm trying to get to here. Right, they are very aggressive and they will not allow you to get away with anything as this one up to Cam. Excels has a lot of boost. He fakes this one. Cryptic thought he was going for it though. And that's that miscommunication that this roster is gonna have as they did just form with Excels. He did not play with them last year. So that's something that may be turning into goals later on in the year. But as of now, they still have that two goal lead with a minute to go. Here is Cam bringing it off to the side while Knight, a good job of rushing it early. Another double commit though. And we've seen a couple of those form throughout the series. And this one, while it might not be forcing goals here for Rochester, it is something to be wary of moving forward in the series. Well, at the moment, it feels like Columbia is just trying to bleed that clock down. Luca's gonna get one more on target. Cryptic will turn it away. 30 seconds or less to go here in game two. Columbia up by a pair, and it feels like it might stand. Luca to the middle for Knight. Cut down there by Cryptic as the Rochester attack a little too slow. And back we go once more, but only as far as Skies. He looks to move it back downfield. Excels cuts it down. Luca there with 10 seconds to go. Knight on target, and that should be the dagger here in game two. And Cam keeps it out. Great defensive play from Cam. He's pulled a couple of those out so far today where it feels as though it 100% will be a goal. He sends it away and Columbia will even our series score up at two or one apiece. Columbia doing a great job of equalizing the series with that solo play aspect that we were talking about earlier. It really does just feel like who's going to be able to impose their play style better, Jar. Game two was all Columbia. Game one was all Rochester. It's a best of five effectively from here on out on who actually is able to play their game better than the opponent and who's able to respond to each opponent's steps. Columbia, it's, it's the individual mechanics like you said. They're able to just take over the game, impose their will regardless of who it is. Rochester, they rely a little bit more on using each other to make themselves faster. We saw that with Knight's one goal there off of Luca. We saw it five times in game one. You I, you weren't here last year to see them do it pretty much all year last year, but it's something they've been known to do. Not, not in game two. It seemed pretty quiet aside from the one outburst there from Knight. Yeah, and I do think that Columbia is going to play more of a an unpredictable play style, right? That they, they play in a manner that lends to perhaps games flip-flopping back and forth um, when someone has a team aspect like that of Rochester. So it's not surprising to see that game one and game two came out in a completely different manner. As we head into game three, this one going to be the one to decide who takes the lead in this series moving forward. Cam wants it to be Columbia as he has a flip. It's over top of one, but both Skies and Knight were back for that one as Knight wants to force Cryptic here. Actually fakes him. Might have another touch. Gets the 50, but it's going to be Luca taking it off of the sidewall. Trying to move forward. Cryptic with 100 boost. We missed. Oh, that was such a good opportunity there for Rochester. A miss play there from Columbia. Sky's right in the slot. It's not often you see him miss. He does there. He hits the near post. Knight back the other way for Luca. Excel's going to cut it down. Cam is there. And Skies gets, in, gets there and closes the gap just in time. Skies flick will not get very far. Cryptic gathers the 100. He hasn't really done much so far this game other than steal all the boost on the field, it feels like, as Excels middle to Cam, and what a play that was. The passing play just over a minute in to game three will give Columbia the first goal. Well, we were talking, Jar, for the first 10 minutes and change about how Columbia just it's been nothing but solo plays. Turns out they can use each other too. Now it's one nothing Columbia, and that's a goal that Rochester hasn't seen scored on them in that style so far in this series. Yeah, Columbia 
definitely not known for their team plays so far today, but they do certainly have the ability, and I'm sure that's something that's going to be more seen in their gameplay as the year goes on. So maybe just a taste of what they will be offering later on come the majors and that land that we talked about earlier as Cam wants another touch. He has it, but it's saved. Cryptic opts to take it slow here as Columbia holds on to that lead. He will jump for this one as Knight beats him. Cam the other way. Cryptic, he wants the redirect. It's high. But man, that was a great opportunity for Columbia. Maybe would have been better, though, had he just gone for the demo. It is not often you see all three members of that Rochester defense standing around like deer stuck in headlights. But we saw it there. Fortunately for them, the miss comes out. But just a, a terrifying situation if you are any of Sky's Luca or Knight or a supporter of them watching here. Here is Luca working it out in front. Cam is gonna cut back around in time before Rochester gets there. Guys once more into the air. Excels patiently waiting on the backboard, just drops it down into the corner in a safe spot and then takes it off Sky's the other way. Luca in midfield contests it back, goes for the bump, excels to Zockward and Knight equalizes. Just under halfway gone, over halfway gone here in game three. And it felt like Rochester was due for one to come through, and that was a beautiful way for it to happen. The bump onto the last man allows our boy Knight to come through and equalize as Cam coming off of the kickoff wants to give Columbia that lead right back. He had the flip, but didn't quite use it to its fullest extent as a double commitment there from Skies and Luca, not something we're used to seeing here as they do get away with it. However, Skies flip reset saved by Cryptic, but there's more pressure here on the blue net. Luca, the double will not go through. Skies now is going to send it up above on the backboard. The double commitment again coming out of Columbia on the squishy save. The attempt will not work out. And Rochester gonna take the lead here with just under two minutes to go. And Jar, I don't know about you, but that felt like I was happening in slow motion. I saw Skies pop it up, 14 boosts in the tank. You think that's probably it? No, he's able to find a spot where neither of the Columbia defenders are. Suddenly Rochester has a lead. Knight taking it out into the corner. Excelst can't find the challenge to get it past him as Knight has just really been pushing those 50s forward buying some time for Rochester as all they got to do is wind down the clock, but that is easier said than done against such a strong Columbia roster. Here goes Cam, trying to hit it over top of one. He does just that, but Skies will finally accept it. Cryptic now taking his turn at a solo play as it'll get denied and back into the sidewall. Cam's going to hit this one awkwardly. I think he wanted to follow through on it, but it wasn't going to happen. Excels will send this into the far corner off the challenge. Knight meets Cam there. Cryptic catches underneath into the corner. Looks to stay with it out towards the middle. Skies cuts it down. Fakes out Excels or at least slows him down. As Excels takes control off the wall. Out towards the slot. Nobody there except for a committing Skies. And now back the other way. Musty comes out to the backboard. Cam is back. That's the right guy. And the attack comes back the other way as Luca gives him his respect. And I do think it's kind of funny to see that both Luca and Cam have the exact same preset, both rocking that old SSG decal with, I believe, Titanium White Reapers. So a couple of players here that have found themselves in a great position as Excel's going to get credit for it. But really, I think this one could have been saved by the defense of Rochester. It was a heater of a shot but Luca just not quite able to react in time as Columbia going to tie things back up with 34 seconds left. And this is where the real test comes out for Rochester. Knight with no boost in the tank. He's gonna get a good 50 for Luca. The net's open and the instant response with under 30 to go. Rochester back out in front. This was a tough situation for Cryptic to deal with. He didn't know who was going to be the one to commit there from Rochester, and it threw him off just enough to allow them to strike 
through. A goal apiece for each of the Rochester players. As again, it's Cam with an air dribble. This time it pinches off of the ceiling. Sky is doing a great job of dealing with it though. Excels wants to send this to Cam and it won't turn into a goal quite yet. Cryptic though wants to make it turn out that way. It's middle. Luca left on his feet. Excels can't find the angle though. And a demo comes through. Five seconds remain. All Rochester needs to do is hold on to the ball and send it to the ground. Cryptic wants the shot. It's to the backboard. Cam, the touch is high, but Luca may just be able to ground it. No, it's still up. Cryptic leaves it for Cam. Excels is up to the backboard. He has the double, and it's in on zero seconds. Columbia Navy equalizes with an absolutely unreal play on zero seconds. Or thought they were safe you never are when you see those three on the other end of the field we're going to overtime here in game three and immediately it's excel sending it downfield night off to the side well we'll see how rochester recovers from here cam to the backboard he gets bumped off skies is there to clear it back the other way luca following underneath gets it through cryptic it bounces high skies is up towards the backboard the second touch out, out and nobody's there as Columbia clears the other way. Knight towards midfield, cut down by Excels. Knight ends up seceding there to Lucas, Luca, and now it goes to the backboard. Cam goats back up the other way, towards the sidewall, looking to get more. 16 boost in the tank, he slows it down. Up over skies, one more touch, looking for the bump, but nothing coming through until Excels is followed. He wants another touch. The Rochester defense now probably starting to get flashbacks from what happened on zero seconds. They do finally get it out of their half as Knight puts it middle. Cryptic early jump there as Luca to the backboard. Cryptic needs to find the touch and he will do so. He follows it up off of the sidewall, fakes out one and Knight gets beat by him as well. Uh -oh. Luca, that's a huge miss. Rochester falling apart here, but we may have seen Columbia overcommit the touch from Knight. Not quite on target though and things are starting to get a little crazy here in overtime. Cryptic, the double touch, oh. is it in? No, Skies barely gets it last second. And this is exactly what we wanted to see, Jar. Both of these teams, regarded to as top teams in the league, going blow for blow, neither one giving an inch, or even still here in overtime as we are nearing the two-minute mark. Damn, to the Skies. Over top of Skies, Luca will make the initial stop, gets it past Excels as well, but it's gonna be Knight to follow up. Cam, a free ball for him as he sends it to the backboard. Hold on, he's looking for the demo. Sky's forced to jump, but the touch from Cam, perhaps leaving something to be desired here. He's got an opportunity to shoot. It's middle, Excels, shot and goal! Excels finishes the game off with the hat trick. He got the goal on zero seconds, and he got the one in overtime as well off of the pass from Cam. It's a four to three overtime win for Columbia to give them the lead in the series. And Columbia is never out of it. They were down 3-2, make no mistake, with like, what, 26 seconds to go, Jar? Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They are never out of it until that clock strikes zero. It didn't, and Rochester paid the price for it. Even when the clock does strike zero, sometimes you're not safe from this Columbia team because the ball still has to hit the ground, and Rochester just couldn't make it happen. They were inches away from coming away with a win here, and alas, Columbia somehow just brute forces their way through, and while we did say that they didn't tend to have the passing plays previously. All four of their goals coming away assisted this game. Just, yeah, I, I'm kind of out of words right now, Jar. I've not, it's not often I see this Rochester team. You know, you, we've, we've, we've expressed this a couple times. You're from the Midwest. You're very, very familiar with this Columbia team. I'm very familiar with this, right? It is not often I see Rochester unless they're in CRL where they just don't seem to have an answer. This is so uncommon. I, I'm out of words. I don't have anything. Well, I'll tell you what, it feels as though Rochester might not have anything either. 
as another game goes to Columbia. Rochester going to need to bring things back to the form that we saw before. They just need to continue that style of play. Use your teammates, stay composed, and challenge the man that's up. That's all Rochester has to do, and it will possibly work out for them. But Columbia, they've had the solo plays, and now we're starting to see them integrate those passing plays as well. So we'll have to see if Rochester will be able to handle that as Columbia may be leveling up here on the day. It does feel like that systematic squeeze from Columbia is coming out. Rochester had life in game one. It feels like as we go further in this series, we're seeing more of this. This time they survive with a good save from Knights off the shot from Cam. But it, it does just feel like Columbia is slowly but surely winning the battle. They're cutting the life, it feels like, out of this Rochester team to where they don't have boost to have an answer or even when they do they still don't have an answer knight up to stop this attack he'll send it down to luca but cryptic beats him to it and that's another miss on defense here for rochester the 50 luckily for luca not going to be on target but still things very very awkward here for rochester as they're low on boost they do finally get a clear though it's skies but it's sent right back to him cam the touch it's gonna be middle excelst unable to find a touch so it'll be instead up to Luca to send it the other way. It's not on target though. That would have been a huge goal and momentum swing there for Rochester. Guys on the rebound, not able to follow through either. Knight up over Cryptic, up over another. Cam's the last one back, that's the right guy. Gets the follow through on Luca. Still has the ball out in front. Luca and Skies combine just to get it out to midfield for Knight. Knight has some space. This man's dangerous in these positions. And he's cut down by Cam. The rebound available for Luca. Flip reset in hand. Gets the 50 on Excels, but it goes right back out towards midfield. And somehow Columbia springboarding off that clear. And Rochester really could have scored a couple of times in that situation. They're starting to look a little more threatening on the ball right now as Knight finding a pass to Luca, but it's gonna be a little too high for him to deal with. Cam over top of one, make that two as Sky is forced to touch it back to Luca. Now Cryptic, next one on it for Columbia. Excels trying to find a pass over to Cam. It's not a great bounce for him to deal with though, but Excels showing that speed, that has been the difference here as Columbia forced to make a touch here as Cryptic getting demoed out of that play. So it's Cam to air dribble the other way. Wants the bump and the shot from Excels will not be denied. And Columbia is the team to strike first here in this one. But well, felt like Rochester was doing a pretty good job handling Columbia until this quick shot from Excels in midfield. 2.05 to go here in game number four. And the clock is ticking on Rochester, it feels like. Scott that one. Off the side wall. I apologize, Jar. Go ahead. No, you're fine. I just wanted to say that that one finally went into the net at 100 miles an hour. An absolute heater coming out of the Columbia offense. That is absolutely incredible. It was fast. I didn't realize it was that fast. Cryptic up off the sidewall for Columbia. Met there by Skies. Excels towards the net. Luke is going to kick this one back the other way. Skies removed by Excels. Cam hits it off the sidewall. Rochester will take advantage of this. Knight on target, kicked away by Excels, who recently respawned. Luca towards the middle, no one home for Rochester, and Cam will just boom it back to Knight. He finds Skies, Knight removed. Soft touch looking for Luca to follow through. Gets one up in the air, Cryptic is back, Cam coming in to help out, and back the other way we go. Excels and Skies meet on the Rochester backboard. It pops out in front. Excels one more touch into the corner just to keep it there. Getting Skies awkward. Knight as well. Cryptic to the sidewall. Corner, rather. Tries to touch it out in front, and he does. But Luca was prepared and kicks it back. And now Cam just hands off to Excels. And it looks like Columbia is just looking to stay controlled here. They don't want to play too risky, as a win here would put them on match point. Luca in a tough spot does make the save but Columbia just has the Rochester defense stuck. They cannot get it out of their half, but this could be the one to do so. Skies wants a double touch here. Cryptic 
does prevent anything further from happening. A 50 could work out in favor of Rochester, but instead it's back onto their half and Excels has a wide open net to shoot on and he will take those every day of the week, launching that one top left and Columbia may have just taken game four out from underneath Rochester. The bounce there for Skies, the misread is the dagger, it looks like here in game four. Columbia moments away, it feels like, from tournament point. But wait a minute, Luca off the post, the rebound hits the same post. On the goal line, Knight is there. Rochester can't score on anything. Skies off the corner, looking out to the middle. Cam will clear it, and that should do it. Eight seconds to go, seven, six, the clock ticking down. Columbia up three games to one over one of the best teams the Great Lakes has to offer. And it was so close the entire way through, but Columbia has just been the team to find a way. Regardless of how it happens, they get the dirty work done. Excelsed this time, finishing with a couple of goals assisted by once, uh, once from each teammate. Cam and Cryptic both logging one up there, and Rochester, after that last game that could have gone their way just moments away from coming away with game three and now has turned into Columbia's series three to one and Rochester now has a lot of work to do if they want to fight their way back in. And Jar, to me, it doesn't feel like Rochester is necessarily doing anything wrong. The finish just isn't there. They're getting their chances. The net is open. The shot's available. The finish just hasn't come through. And in what it feels like now, we've seen at least two of the games here in this series. They had one goal in game two, none here in game four. And both of those games felt the same where they had their chances, couldn't capitalize. Yeah, and I think a lot of that is to credit the Columbia defense, right? We've seen the last second saves coming out from Cam and the, his two teammates, but especially Cam has been doing work on the defensive side. Sometimes when you think it's a 100% chance that Rochester will score, somebody just gets back in time. And so that has been the difference. Cam immediately starting off Luca with an incredible save this time. It's Rochester immediately put under pressure to start the fifth. Well, Cryptic off his own backboard there from the clear from RU. Excels now off the catch from Cryptic to the backboard. Knight swings and misses. Skies and Luca collide. Double commit there for Rochester, but it doesn't seem to harm him. Luca has to get through Cam. That feels like it's almost an impossible task. Proves so here. Excels looking up to the aforementioned Cam. He gets around Skies. Has to deal with Luca. Takes him out, now over to Excels off the 50, low right shot, kicked out there by Knight as the rebound scooted away there as well by Knight. Skies with the 50 on Cam, Cryptic out in front, looking for Cam one more time, maybe up to Cryptic, it's not there. And Cam just keeps in the corner before Rochester looks to break back out. Cryptic wants the pass here, but won't be able to find Cam immediately, who has 100 boost and that is a great play from Luca to bump him off, but it might not be enough as Cryptic is going to get credit for it. This was really Excel's shot, but keep a close eye on Cryptic here. After setting Excel's up, gets bumped into stealing the goal, and that is one that I will say, Bub, I have never seen before. I think they call those, we take those. I'm not sure, <laughs> but I think that's what they're referred to as. Either way, it doesn't matter to Columbia. They're up one nothing. As Excels looks to control, Skies wins it towards the net and he equalizes immediately. Take that, says Skies, as we're tied. And the defense from Columbia leaving something to be desired there. I think the Cam expected Cryptic to get back, and that is not what happened. So a tied game, Rochester still in this one, but they need to find some more goals if they want to put Columbia away and claw their way back into the series. It's similar to what we saw with Kansas last time. They had a couple of chances, but Columbia has been too strong. Rochester though, definitely a team with a little bit more history We'll see if they can bring it back, but with shots like that going in your net, it is not gonna be made any easier by Excelst. Cam to Excelst and in the top right. Good luck, Luca, on saving that one. Good luck even reading where the ball's going. Columbia restores their lead with 3.21 to go. 
It's going to be Cryptic opposite tonight here off the kickoff. Luke with the quick follow through. We've seen Cam get burned in this situation before, but not this time as he adapts the other way. Luca with control off the sidewall. No flip in hand, just goes for the 50 on Excels. Doesn't go the way he wanted it to. Skies will just pop it back towards Cam, who gets it overnight. Cryptic the only one up here for Columbia. Flip reset in hand, caught by Skies. The follow through from Cryptic bumps him. Has to deal with both Cryptic and Excels. Skies with 23 boosts, flicks it up over both of them. Cam is just waiting here in the backfield. Skies up through Cam to Knight, saved by Cam. And Excels back the other way. As Rochester, it seemed like making something out of nothing there. And we will see Rochester take possession again, but Luca not able to hold on to it. Rochester really going to need to take advantage of every opportunity that they can get in this one if they want to bring it back to Columbia. Down a goal with under half the game remaining. Columbia looks to crown themselves as the champions of the Fall Minor and excels really proving as to why he belongs on this Columbia team. He puts in yet another one over top of the Columbia defense. It's a two goal difference. 2.17 to go, 2.17 potentially left in this weekend. Columbia looking steady as the top dog here in the Great Lakes League to start. It is cryptic off the kickoff. That is one touch, I believe that was Cam getting it up over Skies. Luca will find Knight back to the middle, nobody there. Ball moving four times faster than a car can in this game. And now Luca will turn back on it. Knight is up as well. Rochester may be getting a little desperate as we cross 120 seconds. Skies now looking for anything, can't find it. Can't find the ball either as Cam goes back to Excels. They'll pinch it to midfield. Luca trying to get over Cryptic, nothing there. Knight on the follow through, goes over Excels. Has to deal with Cam, that's, an, that's a near an impossible task today as he proves steady once again. The defense is not cracking, although a demo may help them do so as Cam respawns. Another demo comes through, this time onto Cryptic. Luca trying to get something to work out. Skies finally will put a goal through for Rochester after they've been eight shots in. It felt like one was due, and that will be it. One goal now, the difference between Columbia Navy and Rochester, and with a minute and 20 seconds left, Rochester still has work to do. Classic age old phrase from the one and only Jorby. If you can't beat him, delete him. It works out here. Rochester back within one. Maybe not for long. This one awkward in front of their own net, but Luca, I, that ball looked like it glued to his car. Doesn't matter. Excels to the middle. Cryptic forced to go back. Cam off into the corner. Looking for two. Can't make contact. Luca will push it downfield. Knight is there. He has one touch. Looking for more. Flip reset in hand, tries to go under, Excel's not gonna happen. The rebound from Skies and Cam from basically nowhere. Turns it away, less than 50 to go, potentially in the event. Luca back downfield once more. Cam is there, Knight looking to keep it in. He does just that, but Cryptic's underneath it. Hits it off the sidewall, Skies looking to keep control. I don't think he got the flip reset, Luca's not there either, and Columbia gets a clear with less than 30 to go. Cam with the flip reset on target, and Knight wins the 50 there, but the clock's still ticking down. Rochester's greatest enemy, we're, we're coming close to striking midnight. Here goes Luca though, it nearly goes through, but still unable to put the ball into the back of the net. 10 seconds now, it needs to be soon. Luca into the corner, they need to get this ball back onto the blue half. That could do it, Excels in the way. Luca keeps it up though, into the corner. This could be their last chance and it hits the ground. And Columbia Navy are your GLCRL season two fall minor champion. Be